Today we are in downtown St. Catharines previewing Carousel Player's newest play, Water Wonder. It's written by a Toronto playwright named Cheryl McNamara and the play centers around a boy, Richard, who is in grade six and who loves to hang out in the woods near his house. He's kind of a nature guy and he finds out that there's a water bottling plant that's coming to the neighborhood and is going to tear down that forest and tap into the brook that he loves to sit beside. And so he decides to do but something to stop that from happening. They, uh, uh, the so the play is, is uh, a little bit about how kids can wind. become activists themselves and it's about nature and how we can honor nature and take care of nature. Um, and it's a comedy as well, so there's lots of funny bits. <laughs> hey, what? Oh. oh, dude, you okay? I didn't see you. Why is this hey, set significant okay. to the story? No the set is beautiful. Uh, it's been designed by Kelly Wolf, who is a designer from Hamilton, but who teaches at Brock University as well. So the set kind of brings us into the forest. But of course, Carousel's challenge is that we have to be able to put everything in a van and travel from school to school. So this set uh, folds down, fits in the back of a van. Um, it's really a, a two sets of curtains, uh, one with foliage, one with sort of a tree motif. And uh, it gives us a sense of perspective of what it would be like to be in the forest. Um, and then there's this tree fort that's amazing that we can build and take apart in every school. What does this play mean to you? Water Wonder is really cool because it has a nuanced approach to the idea of environmental activism uh, where it involves collaboration and uh, rather than divisiveness it talks about uh, building a future uh, instead of destroying what we have and really focuses on uh, creation and, and collaboration between uh, people across the spectrums of uh, the environmental issues. So can you tell me a little bit about your character? Yeah, I actually play three different characters in this play. Uh, Stacy, a 15-year-old who's obsessed with economics. Julia, who's the mayor of the town the characters live in. And Tara, who is sort of a, a, a shapeshifter. She may be the spirit of the woods, she's maybe a bird, maybe she's a tree. It's a bit mysterious. What's it like working with the other actors and touring? Oh, it's a delight to be here. I'm so glad to be here in Niagara and to be working with this company. This has been uh, one of the most joyous professional rooms I've ever had the pleasure to be in. So I'm really looking forward to continuing on and to showing this play to the public. Any luck? No. Not yet. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Can you tell me about the characters you play? I play two characters in this show, uh, one being Pete Spark, the CEO of Wonder Water, a, a water bottling plant that is coming into a small town to uh, siphon off some of the brook and uh, the lake underneath and bottle the water to be distributed around the world. And the other being Tyler, uh, who is a young boy who is Richard's best friend. I love being on tour. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, going to grade schools and performing is a real treasure. Um, seeing kids' faces light up because they really believe that you are these characters. Um, it's a, a very humbling experience as a performer, being in schools, performing for young audiences. So why else are you here? It's nice. <laughs> why are you here? We have public performances every Saturday during our tour. They're listed on our website. Our first performance is Saturday, uh, November the 9th at Heartland Forest in Niagara Falls, but we're, we're touring throughout the Niagara region, so hopefully people can come out and see it. For more information on the community tour of Water Wonder, be sure to visit carouselplayers.com. Reporting for The Source, I'm Kennedy Reynolds.